What is up traders? Welcome back to another video. Your liquid FX ICT expert here, right? So now we're going to be breaking down gold or XAU USD and we're going to be doing it so just by diving straight into the four hour time frame. So what we have over here is we have swing low down in the bottom left and we have a swing high towards the middle of the screen. Now from here we have to understand that we have simply one thing that this is telling us or two regions we have a premium zone over here and we have a discount zone over here now we're going to be going over some ict tips and tricks to enhance your ict trading no matter what you trade whether it's gold whether it's forex crypto stocks we're going to be going over different techniques and systems that you can use to your advantage right so that being said, we're just going to um, dissect some price action here on the four hour. So we have a discount region over here and we have a POI in this region. Now, this POI really left a massive fair value gap, right? So if I zoom into price action over here, we see a massive fair value gap that's been left over here. And we know that price looks to fill fair value gaps, right? Fair value gaps are inefficiencies in price. And we are likely to see price retrace into this zone over here, right? So for those watching this now, gold is likely to come down to the 1983 region, okay? So if I go down now to the 15 minute time frame, we can begin to dissect some neat tips and tricks with ICT. But a lot of this coincides with the basics of market structure, the basics of trading, right? The basics of SMC, or some people like to call it ICT, SMC. Just understanding the basic narrative of how we're going to look at price over here, right? So as you can see, we had a shift of structure from bullish to bearish, right? So we saw the last M15 low get broken over here, marked out with the arrow. So we had a clear structural break in this region, right? This is our structural break over here. Now, since then, we've proceeded with bearish structure, right? We can see our highs and lows forming. We see a deep premium high followed by another structural break over here. And now we've had a less deep but still premium high over here. So now the question is, how could you have got involved in some of these trades? And the first thing we're going to dissect very simply is the concept of liquidity, sessions, and time. Okay, so just here on the 15 minute, we won't go lower than 15 minute. One thing to take in, one thing to keep in mind is how price operates around different pools of liquidity. So here's an example of where you could have potentially got into your trade, right? Here's an example from the 2nd of January, so the first trading day of this year, right? So if we go down, if we go back to the 29th of December, this was the very last trading day of 2023, we saw the market print a high and then impulse lower, right? So we saw a market print a high and impulse lower. Now from here, we have to understand before we had this aggressive move down, we had an aggressive move down at the start of the year, 2nd of January, 3rd of January, Right, so how could you have got involved in this trade, right? So the first thing to understand is that there's two types of liquidity. We have session range liquidity and we have previous day highs and lows, right? So session liquidity, a good example of that is the Asian liquidity, right? The Asian liquidity, this is important to understand. So we have Asian highs and lows which get manipulated, right? Now, before we begin to dissect this move to the downside, let's have a look at how price actually behaved. Now, the first thing to understand is that we have we had a major sweep of liquidity in this region over here. Now, what piece of liquidity was this? Now, this was something which we call the PDH, right? Or the previous day high. Now, when we see a sweep of the previous day high, this increases the probability of an order block, right? Because what we see over here is we see a Judah swing, an ICT Judah swing in this region over here, the high of the day. So this is the manipulation or the Judah swing or the turtle sweep, right? They all pretty much mean the same thing. They all refer to the same thing. So when we see price sweep the previous day high in this region, right, the PDH, and we see price displace upwards before giving us a break of structure to the downside over here, right? This is our internal break of structure, right? When we see this, we need to understand that what makes our entry a high probability? What makes this fair value gap over here high probability? Because this is a high probability. This is a high probability. A plus fair value gap or an A plus order block, right? And now what makes this high probability is the fact that we have a sweep of not only Asian highs, but we also have a sweep of the previous day high liquidity. And this is what makes it a high probability trade setup is the fact that we have liquidity used to our advantage, right? So for those who wanted to enter off this position, 
you would have had your order block in this region over here. So this would have been your order block, right? And this this is an A plus order block, right? This is an A plus bearish order block. And what makes this order block high probability is the reason which I've just discussed. It's the fact that we swept not only the Asian high for the day. So this is the Asian range for that day. We swept the Asian high, which is pretty clearly, which is pretty clearly the case. But we've also swept the previous day high. So that gives us uh, an A plus order block over here. So which didn't quite give us an entry, which is fine. But it's important to understand the concept, right? Another pattern which all traders should be aware of is the fact is the fact of we're going to see price manipulate Asian liquidity before heading lower, right? So we see this on the Friday. So we see price give us a manipulation in London or Frankfurt session, right? So we see the high of the day, high of the day above the Asian range, right? We see the high of the day above the Asian range. Now on this day, we see exactly the same thing, right? We see exactly the same thing. So we see the high of the day above the Asian range, right? So this is a form of manipulation. And this is one of the basic concepts of ICT, right? So when you see a displacement above the Asian range, you're more likely to see lower prices if the higher time frame backs the narrative of sell. Okay. So if we go down now to the next day, we see the same thing, but it's very, it's a lot more intricate. So if we just dive into 50 minute price action over here, we understand that we're bearish. Let's have a look at what's happening. We have the Asian range again, right? And we see a very, very subtle sweep just in the Frankfurt session, right? So we see this wick over here, wick up, giving us our high of the day. And this is the manipulation, the manipulation in the AMD. So for those who don't understand what the AMD is, we can go through it quickly here in this video, is essentially the idea of an Asian range accumulating orders. We want to see price manipulate, activating buy stops. They get, they get stopped out and then we activate sell stops. And from here, we look to continue the move after the Judas swing has been formed, right? After the manipulation of the Judas swing has been formed. So this will typically be your manipulation. And your Asian range will be the accumulation phase in the market of interest, okay? And this is exactly what you see here, right? We see the Asian range over here in orange, and this represents the accumulation, okay? So if we just continue to follow price down on gold, an entry here was a little bit more clearer because we had a fair value gap over here. So an entry would be just at the vicinity of the fair value gap, right? A sensible place to keep your stop would always be above the Judas swing. And this was a fantastic trade, right? That gave us a one to five, one to 10, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So the first thing is pattern recognition and understanding where the highs and lows of the market actually will be. The same thing happens, the same thing happened over here on the 4th of January, right? Where we had price displace above the Asian range, right? Being in a bearish market, when we see price displace above the Asian range, this is when we're likely to see sells above the Asian range. So this gives us bearish narrative, okay? So now that we see price displace above the Asian range, we see a structural shift in this region over here. And we had a fair value gap in this region over here, right? So this was our order block or our, or our entry. And our entry is at the fair value gap candle in this region. So this gives us a nice two to one entry, I believe, or three to one, depending on where you place your stop. So this is a great example of how you can use the power of three in your trades on gold. A few more things to understand is if we go now to more recent price action, we see price give us a structural break to the downside. So what we see here is we see a break of structure, which is important to understand. We see a break of structure in this region. So this gives us a very clear break of structure. And now, before we continue lower, what we've actually seen is a generation of liquidity, right? So we've seen price generate liquidity in the form of triple highs, right? One, two, three. Three, we've seen triple high liquidity get created. We saw price sweep this liquidity, right, before continuing lower. So this was a large manipulation of internal range liquidity. And this is what we've seen in this region, okay? So if we go on to more recent price action, what we see is we see the same patterns occurring, right, in the London session or even in the New York session, right? We see price giving us the high of the day above the Asian range, right? So we see the Judas swing above the Asian high, right? So the high of the day typically occurs above the Asian range, right? This is why I want everyone to understand the high of the day occurs
occurs above the agent range, and there needs to be patterns in your trading for entry, okay? Pattern recognition in trading is very, very, very important. When we're looking for sales, we want the high of the day to be above the Asian high. We see the same thing here. We see the same thing on this day over here. So we see the high of the day forming on this day. And we also see the high of the day forming on this day as well, all in the same way. So we're beginning to see patterns in the way the market operates, the way the market moves, right? And this is what we're looking for in our trade, right? So we're looking for a Wyckoff distribution or simply just the high of the day above the Asian range. Now from here, there's plenty of entries you can use. So for example, we have an order block over here in this region, leaves a fair value gap. So our order block will be based off where the high of the day is. So it's important to understand that, right? So our order block will be in this region. And this is our order block right here, right here, right here. So our order block mitigates over here. And we see a second entry over here. We see an our order block again, or our supply zone, or supply zone, supply chain, sorry, mitigating over here, right? And as you can see, just by following the basic logic, the trades you could have taken, both of them are pretty aggressive bear trades to the downside, right? You want to have your stop loss above the the uh, Judas swing, and you can target the next fair value gap in the discount. So the main thing of this video is to understand where the high of the day could be in a bearish market, and you're typically going to see it above the Asian high, right? So if I just draw a quick schematic again, we have our accumulation with the Asian range. We're going to have a manipulation above, triggering buy stops before a break of structure. They get swept out, and we look to enter after a manipulation, understanding where the, where the market is likely to go next, right? So this will be our Asian range, and our Asian range looks to accumulate orders, accumulate liquidity. Okay, this is the accumulation. Now, the manipulation will always occur above the high of the Asian range, typically more often than not. This is uh, one of the models we use here at Liquid FX, is we want to see price manipulate above the Asian high. And after a clear structural shift or a clear structural break, we are likely to see a fair value gap entry that we as ICT traders can enter off. So it's going to be something in this nature over here, targeting Asian low or previous day lows. Okay, and this is exactly what we see in price over here in this region. So this is a quick overview of how we trade here at Liquid FX. This is one of the models we use. We aim to simplify ICT concepts for all traders all over the world, no matter what your experience is. So if you're interested in joining, there's a link in the YouTube bio, our YouTube page, Liquid Effects. And if you're interested, give us a shout on Instagram and Twitter, and we'll be more than happy to support you on your journey.